Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. Uh, I know at the end of the last Plans and Pans, I said I would be gone for uh, a week. At the time that we were taping that, the tragedy, the unspeakable act that took, pa took place in Uvalde, uh, Texas, um, killing 19 children, little school children, up to uh, first, second, third grade, uh, unbelievable. Um, and two teachers were, were killed. Some of you wondered why I didn't mention it, because we didn't know it hadn't happened at the time, or maybe it was happening at the time. And as outraged as you are, I think that reflects the way most Americans are feeling. And also fearful. Um, what do we say to our children? all children that I'm sure have heard about it, maybe talking about it to each other, what do we say? I asked a mom in Evanston, Illinois, what is she saying to her, her child? And she said, I don't really feel like I can say, don't worry, you're perfectly safe. I'd love to hear some of the things that you recommend that you might say to your children who are frightened now at, at school. But in the meantime, we, the adults, have to act. We, the Congress of the United States, has to act. Now, as you know, and I'm sure you're thinking it's really not sufficient, the House of Representatives has passed a number of pieces of legislation. Uh, most importantly, I would think, is the legislation that 90% of Americans support, and that is to require universal background checks. And even that, at the time, could not pass the United States Senate. Think of that. Not only um, going against common sense, but going against the will of most of Americans. We also passed a bill that closed the Charleston loophole um, what that means is that right now, while those that are getting background checks, if it hasn't been approved in a certain number of days, then that person can get the gun anyway. Um, and what we did was close that loophole, loophole and say, no, you, you had to be able to get an approved background check. There was no waiting time during which you could actually get one. So, um, you know, we, we've done a few things, but obviously it has not been enough. We have introduced important other legislation, including a, a ban on assault weapons. And I would love to see that. That's really at the top of my list. At what, why do we need military weapons in the hands of citizens, any citizens? When are you gonna use a military style weapon? Isn't it enough that there are legal guns for hunting, um, that people have for, uh, for, for self-defense? Although you know, there is already evidence that if you have a gun in your home for self-defense, it is more likely that it will be used against you than in your, in your favor. But in any case, the idea of an assault weapon is just totally unacceptable and we should ab absolutely get it made illegal in the United States of America. So I think what we need to do is vote in the Congress, in the Senate as well. You know, the yes, if they can come up with some sort of a, a compromise, um, that would be great. I know some of our senators are trying to work together to come up with something. But in any case, we have to have significant votes. And if there are some senators who decide to vote no, let's keep a list of their names. Let's hold them accountable as more and more children, more and more people are dying. Now, you know that Governor Abbott from Texas has criticized loudly uh, the city of Chicago and our governor, but Governor Pritzker 
really pushed back. He said, you know, Abbott was talking about the number of deaths and shootings in the city of Chicago. And Governor Pritzker made absolutely clear there's one reason for that, and it is not because the city of Chicago or the state of Illinois is lax in its gun laws. Oh, no. We have some of the best anti-shooting uh, laws, gun laws in the country. It is because the majority of guns that are used in crimes in the city of Chicago and around the state of Illinois come from adjoining states. Yes, on a weekend, you can drive into Indiana when there are gun shows, you can open up the trunk of your car and you can load it up with guns. We don't check people at the border between Indiana and Illinois, and they can come across. And that is why we need federal gun laws. And it is time to act. And we need to hear your voices. We need to hear your voices loudly, even those of us who support this, uh, the, these, these really important gun safety laws. It would be useful to help to, to hear from you. But it would also be useful to make sure you call people in other states that you know where we need to get some votes to change this. In um, states where it is easy to carry, openly carry a, a, a gun um, and do. States where there have been these mass shootings and it seems like they're more and more and more frequent. And we all need to vote in elections. Elections really matter. The people that we choose to represent us at every level, we want them to support common sense, gun safety legislation. We need to do this. We need to act now. We need to act on behalf of the children. We need to act on behalf of the people, the many people who commit suicide with guns because they're so available, the many people on dangerous streets in cities all around our, our country, the youth that have easy access to guns. This is the time for action. I'm committed to do absolutely everything I can as a member of Congress and as a human being to stop the carnage. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where my handle is at Jan Schakowsky.